Miquela Negrera seems to have a knack for attracting all things scandalous. Just recently, she found herself smack dab in the middle of a big scam involving Charlotte Tilbury's PR fiasco. What the heck did Charlotte Tilbury send me? Holy sh! Now, it's no secret that the beauty industry is known for its cutthroat competition with brands vying for the top sport in the market. And because of that, in the recent years, the role of influencers has become increasingly important in shaping brand perceptions and driving sales. However, this has also led to controversies with some influencers being caught in scams that have shaken the industry. One such controversy is the one that involves Michaela Nuguera and Charlotte Tilbury, a renowned maker brand that sent out PR boxes to influencers heck did charlotte tilbury send me holy what the hell is happening what is inside of this holy this is like the most beautiful i've ever seen i don't even i don't even want to touch this while some influencers received full boxes others like michaela received empty ones was it a mistake or was it a clever pr stand well let's find out in case you aren't well versed charlotte tilbury has has been so well known on the makeup scene thanks to its high quality products and the influence of its founder charlotte tilbury who is a well-known makeup artist who has created cover looks for the biggest fashion magazines to developing cosmetics for designer beauty brands she's one of the most influential makeup artists and her brand has a reputation for excellence and is highly respected in the makeup industry. Recently, Charlotte Tilbury launched a new line of lipsticks called Hollywood Beauty Lipsticks. To promote the launch, the brand sent out PR boxes to influencers. These boxes were adorned with packaging so extravagant. Inside, there were supposed to be lipsticks and lip liners from the brand. However, while some influencers received full boxes of lipsticks, others like Michaela received an empty box. In her video, Michaela says she was so saddened by this because she was looking so forward to trying out the products as expected social media exploded with speculation was it a mistake or was it a deliberate pr stunt so michaela posted a charlotte tilbury pr package without the product in it and she was surprised and we took the ride and then there was a follow-up where she's holding evidence bags of the actual product saying she doesn't know what happened and she you know is just as surprised as we are wait this just took a turn of events mine is empty and things only got juicier from there. Charlotte Tilbury, not one to shy away from the spotlight, started posting videos and photos about a, about a lipstick case. In the videos, many people, including her sisters, refuted stealing the lipsticks, and this got everyone talking, especially Kelly Gooch, who accused Charlotte of trying to one-up Elf. You see, Elf had already done a cosmetics criminal documentary where they also investigated a makeup haste. So according to Kelly, it seems it seemed odd that Charlotte would follow suit. So Suspicious, right? Yet, amidst all this chaos, Charlotte posted a video claiming she was the mastermind behind the missing lipsticks. And coincidentally, all the other influencers who hadn't received their lipsticks, Michaela inclusive, suddenly appeared with them, sealed in evidence bags. Michaela, for her part, claimed she was surprised as well and she had no clue about what was happening. The internet went wild, taking sides and fueling the fire. Robert Welsh, for one, believed it was all just a big mistake. He argued that the PR seemed rushed, low budget, and last minute, suggesting that the boxes were empty from the start. According to him, Charlotte PR team was desperately trying to save face. But even with his submission, the internet remains divided, with fans and critics alike debating the truth behind this scandal. Was it a desperate attempt by Charlotte PR team to save face? The jury is still out on that one. But I have discovered some interesting things about this whole scandal. Sure, this whole charade appears to be a cunningly crafted low budget PR stand from Charlotte because it appears she must have taken a page out of the health recent cosmetics criminal documentary handbook. But here's the kicker because it appears she must have taken a page out of the health recent cosmetics criminal documentary handbook. It was all intentional from the very beginning because she even appears to have been throwing some serious shade at none other than Elf. Now if you take a closer look at the evidence bags she was holding you'll notice something peculiar. Amongst all of them there were some products of Elf. If you look closely 
You'll see she was holding Elf Hollywood Flawless Filter Dupe, the Elf Contour Blush, and Highlighter Wand Dupes. Coincidence? I think not. Charlotte strategically placed these items there and it gets even juicier. The caption of her Instagram stories read, I should be the one reporting a cosmetic crime. That's a direct hit at Elf, which between both it and Charlotte, it was the first to do a cosmetics criminal documentary. So clearly it appears she's calling them out for their alleged wrongdoing. Now some of you might point out that it's all just a misunderstanding, a simple mistake. Mistake. But let's be real here. Does that look like a mistake to you? No, that's a deliberate move. Charlotte knows exactly what she's doing. It's all shady in the end. Now, don't get me wrong. I know Charlotte Cosmetics is still doing very good for what they are, but being mad at the fact that cheap products are more wanted while lower income people portray the biggest part of the arts population is definitely out of touch. Besides, I bet it's all for a reason. Anyone that has switched from Charlotte Tilbury products to the dupes did it for a reason. If they had been completely happy with Hollywood flawless filter packaging, shades, application wear, price, then they would have been tempted by Halo Glow. Those who absolutely love it and don't mind the price are going to keep buying it, so Charlotte Tilbury needs to focus on marketing to her audience best on her products and not trying to be creative calling out dupes because it is just not a good look at all. For one, it's a tacky, it's tacky and desperate. This is a brand that has its place. Everyone already knows it's the innovation and has packaging and branding to go with price point so they shouldn't feel the need to drag their imitator like this anyway it's not just about the shadiness oh no we need to talk about the influencers that received these PR boxes and where they would have still posted these videos if they if they knew they were empty you see if this was indeed a mistake I highly doubt they still would have uploaded their videos but the fact that they went ahead and posted those videos despite the empty boxes can only mean one thing they must have been tipped off from the very beginning about the whole PR thing. I mean, come on, even some of the slots were already opened. Does that really look like a mistake? I think not. And let's not forget about Michaela, the cherry on top of this PR box drama. She has a history of being an outright liar when it comes to her products. Remember the mascara controversy? She acted all shocked about the laurel about the laurel mascara elongating her eyelashes, but she had fake ones on top. Considering her track record, it wouldn't have been so hard for Michaela to fake a surprise in this situation too. No shade, but Michaela's reputation wants you to question everything. Seriously, if what she said is 1 plus 1 equals 2, I would run the maths myself. And to add to the controversy, I find it odd that no no other influencers who had forgotten empty PR did to make a video about it since they initially made the video showing the empty PR. I would think they would follow it up with a video either saying they didn't know it was a campaign like Mikaela or something. It's suspicious, isn't it? And speaking of that, out of all the influencers who have come forward to clarify, Mikaela seems the most invested. Hmm, makes you wonder, doesn't it? Anyway, that's my two cents. Now, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this whole situation? What do you think about Michaela speaking up about the empty boxes? Do you believe it was just a joke? Do you think it was just a mistake? And what about Charlotte Tilbury's sudden lipstick case revelation? Was it a clear PR stand or desperate attempt to cover up their mistake? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I want to hear what you have to say.